Hi guys and welcome back to Football Manager 2018 here with Ajax in our Youth Academy Challenge. About to take on Bayern Munich here in the Champions League. A draw would see us in real good shape actually for qualifying for the last 16 ahead of Bayern. And a victory would uh, would actually secure it, I think. Yep, a victory would secure it. Uh, a lot to ask obviously to beat Bayern Munich, but never know. Um, Kaelin Camp will come in for Van de Beek who is unfortunately suspended for this one. Uh, Giovanni De La Vega will take his spot in the uh, on the bench. Obviously, only the top seven on the bench here are going to actually be in the matchday squad. Um, yep. Yeah, so other than that, we're going with we're going with Rui Grock, Veltman, Farkas. Unfortunately, since Delight isn't back yet, Kemper, but Board, Savastano, Lang, Kaelin Camp, Clivert, Sir House, and Nunnally. That is going to be our squad, obviously up against the might of Bayern. I'm not even going to run through their team again. Uh, I'm going to tell them we can potentially secure qualification here, so go out and give it your all. I'm going to tell them to show some passion as well. Uh, they could very well turn up here and absolutely steamroller us, uh, Bayern, if they get motoring. But we're going to approach this with a little bit of uh, optimism. As Bickboard will launch it clear, Sir House is nowhere near it, Hummel's away, but Lang flicks her on, Vidal away. Lang again, but board bit of space here. Clivert, can we get at their defence here early on? Clivert, ah oh, nah, he's ushered down a corner. Oh, it's nicked by Lang, Sir House, none of these in, he shoots, he scores! Oh, 1-0 after only 5 minutes. Massive, massive goal there. And the possible qualification, obviously Bayern have plenty of time to come back, but that could be a huge goal for us. As Rui Grock will take this kick out, Veltman, plenty of space. Sky's past the back board, gets away with it. Lang now down the line for Clivert. Can he boost a lava? He can. Does he have a cross on it for two? He whips it. Sir House for two. And it is two nothing after only 12 and a half minutes. Do you start to do you start to hope now? Sir House with a goal and an assist to his name. He's starting to look like one of the best strikers, one of the best young strikers, at least in Europe. Obviously, it won't be long before some big teams, possibly even Bayern themselves, knowing what he can do, uh, will we'll come calling for him. But hopefully we can hold on to him, giving him a rather hefty bump in wages if need be. He's already on just under 15 grand, I think. One of the higher wages we're actually paying at the moment. Savastano's throw now. If we could make it three before half time, that'd be excellent. But obviously, we need to keep the back door shut. Sir House losing it. Kimmich goes back to Neuer who can kick it long for Lewandowski, nicked, Cliver over the top, Sir Howe's tight angle, can he finish? <laughs> Where's the question? 3-0 and it's not even half time. And it looks like we might just do the job here, although we have to make sure that they don't strike back before half time. Kimmich, Dames, into Vidal, here's Kimmich now. Dames and Vidal, Muller, Lewandowski, come on, don't let them score before the break. Yeah, too much space for Kimmich and for Lewandowski, he's just nodded it wide there. Looks like we're going to survive. Hopefully, we'll be able to come out in the second half and put on a similar performance. We've picked up an injury there. Gino Decker can come on, though. He did the damage over at the Allianz, so we shouldn't have too much trouble with him replacing Nunnally at the break. Uh, very pleased with the performance. Keep it going, lads as Clivert knocks it back to Farkas and we start the second half three goals to the good just need to hold on to this position now and we'll definitely qualify for the last 16 of the Champions League 40 minutes left to actually get through here two goals and an assist for our main man up top as I see going to obviously become one of the best young prospects around as Veltman nicks it can we possibly get the counter going here? He takes too long, but it is in for Sir House. Has a chance for the hat-trick. Sets himself. It is a good save from Neuer. He should have buried that, though. Should have the hat-trick. As we move into the last half an hour or so. Lobbed forward to Coleman, who's obviously on with fresh legs to cause us trouble. Down the left-hand side. It's over to Vidal. Space out wide for Kimmich. Puts her in for Lewandowski. Come on, hold. Out to Kimmich. Cuts it back. Vidal. Sanchez! Just wide. Good, 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 right. To tell the guys to concentrate for the last half hour or so here. Corner now looks like some band pressures building as Boateng nods it just over. We've got a little while left now to hang on. 25 minutes as they bring on Aryan Robin. Tons of experience obviously there coming on to try and help out. But it looks like we're going to hold. And we've got some subs we can make too. Let's take off Lang for Carl Eating since he has that booking. And Robin's corner now whipped in under 15 to go. Kemper away comes to Coleman. 
and goes for a shot easy for young Rui Grock there. Out to Veltman, come on, just keep it simple. Mm, that's a terrible ball, but Kellen Campbell finds Savistano. So House, can we get the fourth and kill it? It's a great ball into Cliver. Beats Neuer! And we do get the fourth, and we kill it. What a performance this has been. We'll bring on Gio De La Vega for Cliver. Two goals and two assists for Sir House there. Absolutely bossed by Munich today. And we are through to the last 16. I must say, when I drew this group, I thought there was an outside chance we might sneak through. Or I thought there was a good chance we'd beat Slavia Prague to that... Uh, to that third place there, a dodgy performance though in the Czech Republic, barely beating them, I did worry about our chances, but look at what we've done against Bayern in the two games, four points off Bayern, we could easily have beaten them in the Alliance as well, and been two points better off than we are just now, but two minutes left to go, what a result, this has been easily our best result I would say, 4 nothing over Bayern, but board down the line to De La Vega now, Whipped in. Is there a fifth? No, Decker just nods it over. That would have been an absolute hammering if we'd got fifth. But it does look like it's game over. Sanchez, James, out wide. We're definitely going to win now. I just want the clean sheet. Sanchez, James again. Lewandowski out to Kimmich. Drives it in. Veltman clears. Vidal put up a really, really good resistance. Alaba for Coman. Hits the byline. Almost walks it in, but it's a good save. Back to Kimmich. Off the bar and over. <laughs> Backboard to De La Vega, nice flick, eating in for Decker. It's a great save by Neuer. That probably denies us any chance of the fifth now, but we're gonna run out four nothing winners. Absolutely exceptional. Can't argue with this whatsoever. Gino Decker stands it up, headed away. A killing camp now. Decker put it in, cut back for Kemper. Now we're just going to hold it now, just going to tease Bayern down the line, Boateng away, Kemper takes it in the chest, down the line it will roll out but it is the final whistle, 4 nothing to Ajax, <coughs> what do you say about that? Apologies guys, the sore throat's going to be a wee bit of trouble sauce since yesterday, 2-3 to three weeks for Nunnally's a shame. <laughs> but there you go, we qualify for the knockouts. Sir so House now has 28 goals in 21 starts in all uh, all competitions, 12 goals in 9 starts in the Champions League. He is a top scorer above Raul Jimenez there. He's second and uh, sorry, third in the average rating. Clivert's actually got the most assists, and Sir House has the most man of the match awards. He's only worth 4.5 million though, which I think is pretty nuts. Uh, should be getting hopefully some. Uh, where is he? <clears throat> Should be getting some Dutch caps soon, you'd think. He's got 221 caps and no goals, but he's got to start making the national side if he's banging in goals like that. He's a top scorer in the Champions League. He's a top scorer uh, in the Eredivisie by an absolute country mile. Veltman now is getting pissy because we're not letting him leave the club. There's no way he's leaving. He's a senior statesman here. One of the <clears throat> few guys that really does have experience. Lang unfortunately out for a couple of days as is Cliver and Lang has been a revelation since we've promoted him this season he's done very well since coming into the side looks very calm and assured in the middle of the park as well he's got a wee bit of a creative spark about him it seems exactly the kind of thing we need going forward a lot of competition actually in the centre of the park obviously Donny van der Beek our main man in there wasn't even playing there as we beat Bayern at 4 nothing. so House is on the verge of the Eredivisie player of the match, Milestone. He's got it six times, uh, and the record is seven. <laughs> so it's November, and he's on for the record Man of the Match awards already. It just shows how he's kicked on this season, how the whole side's kicked on, actually. But we're still, you know, we're still a wee bit behind Feyenoord. We need to, we need to make that up, we need to catch up. And although... It's looked really good recently. Good results there. We scored 13 goals in the last three games, conceding none. Before that, we did have a wee run, though, of three draws in a row. One of them at the Allianz, obviously, is a good result, but the other two a bit sketchy. So it's not as if we've been running through teams for months now. We just need to check ourselves a little bit as you trek lose yet again. Breda drawing this time with Den Haag, so maybe their train's slowing down a little bit. 20 way down there now as well. 
Um, Vitezzi get the win over Go Ahead Eagles. They are now within four points of us. But obviously final had the big one there. Three points behind them. And they have a game in hand to speak of. Alkmaar are five behind us, but have the two games in hand. So they could also, of course, hop us if they win those two games in hand. They've actually lost three games, which is one more than us, but only the one draw. Feyenoord still unbeaten as we move into mid-November. They're against Alkmaar now, actually. Heeren Wien against Roda is a 3-1 Heeren Wien victory. AZ versus Feyenoord and Zvoli hosting PSV Eindhoven. Come on, AZ, do something. Oh, it is a 2-0 victory for AZ over Feyenoord. And we can actually, I believe, move top of the table if we beat Groningen here. Obviously, there'll be a game in hand for Feyenoord still. Uh, Nunnally will come out for Gino Decker. Obviously, comes off the bench. Zafoy can come onto the bench, as can Van Gilderen, because they might as well, but they are both hurt still at the moment. Um, Donny van der Beek, obviously, moving up here. Donny van der Beek will come in for Lang. Akelin Camp can be on the right. Van der Beek will be on the left. Other than that, we'll stick with pretty much the same team. Uh, what's the physio on Cliver? Cliver is capable, so we'll, we'll certainly play him. Capable is good enough for me. So we'll be going with Rui Grock, Veltman, Farkas, Kemper, Backboard, Sabastano, Akelenkamp, Van der Beek, Cliver, Sirhaus, and Decker. That is going to be the squad. Not too different from the squad that just beat Bayern Munich 4 0, so surely we can go away here and get a result, right? Uh, assertive, we should be winning this without any problem at all. Van der Beek's motivated by that. Let's hope everybody else has pushed forward. Let's get them under some early pressure here and really turn the screw. We should be full of confidence after that Bayern victory. Connors whipped in, headed oof, just over the bar. And Opoku almost giving the lead to Groenigan after me saying how we should be aiming to put them under pressure early doors. And it's certainly ourselves that are under pressure early doors. Savistano nicks it though. Can we break here? Launching it down the line. Decker's onto it. Come on, let's counter them. Decker's wide. Can he pick out Sir House, the main man? He can. Oh, and he's fluffed it. Unbelievable. How has he missed? The boy is absolutely on fire this season and he's blown probably the easiest chance he's had in a while. Uh, right, we need to demand more out of them. This is not a good opening half hour. Van der Beek puts her in. Kemper nods her on. It's a scramble and clear. Mm. And you begin to wonder if it's your day. Whipped in. Away. Van der Beek. Decker. Cleared. At least we've grown into the half a wee bit. Can he blow this golden chance though to, to really get in amongst it at the top of the league? We can move to an almost identical record to Feyenoord. Only difference being that we'll have one more loss than them. I'm going to aggressively say that it's not been good enough. Cliver looking stressed. Let's take him off then. Cliver is coming off for De La Vega. We'll go with that. We'll encourage them now. Maybe they need a wee pat in the back. Forward it comes to Bakuna. Out wide. Linson, go and get stuck into them. Bakuna draws space for a Poku, reverses it. This is, oh, what a tackle! I thought that was a tap in there. Let's go back to a Poku, though. Heads it on! And now Tom Van Viert does manage to slam it home. And it is 1 0 to Groningen. And it is typical of our side. Pretty much since we took over, actually. You go and you hammer Bayern, then you can't touch Groningen. Under half an hour now, I will bring on Maduro and I will bring on Carl Eating. Linson's corner whipped in. Away by Savistano. Sir House charges after it. Right, come on, we need to hit them here. It's a good ball first time. Decker now races past his man. Come on, put it on a plate. Puts her in. Carl Eating on a plate. An absolute sitter. Absolutely zero composure for the boy. Totally fluffs his chance. Ha, I know we're down to 10 men and it's Sir House that's coming off injured. It's just perfect. Absolutely perfect. We're going to lose this game. Awful weekend in terms of league action. Nowhere near them. They deserve to beat us today. Shocking drop in performance since the Bayern game. And it's just... 
typical of us. We go away from home against a mid-table side. We never seem to win. Sometimes we can rally a good performance against a top-of-the-table side, and most of the time, a fancy is to beat an away, uh, win an away game against a bottom team. But it just seems against those mid, mid-table teams, those kind of, those kind of sixth through thirteenth. I just never fancy us. And once again, now four to five weeks for Sir House, and all of a sudden the shine's taken off of that Bayern game after that terrible performance. We need to rally because we've got Breda now who are third in the league and then we've got Slavia Prague. At least we've got a wee international break for a couple of weeks here to maybe get some of those injuries recovered, get the likes of Delight back in the team. But uh, yeah, so that's going to be it. Listen, hope you guys have enjoyed this one. Let's not forget we did just beat Bayern Munich 4 nothing to qualify for the last 16 of the Champions League. Their job should be safe regardless of what goes on in the league at least this season. But as I say, hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have done, please drop down below and leave a like on the video. And of course, to follow the season, you can subscribe, which I'd be greatly appreciative of. We have just, to note this, we have just reached 300 subscribers. So thanks very much for that, guys. And yep, as I always say, I will see you next time when we take on Breda and Slavia Prague.